Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. What is your full name? My full name is Nikita Singh. Where do you live? I live in Patiala, Punjab. Does your city have plenty of things for young people to do? Definitely. My city has a lot of things like a different type of cafes where young people can hang out. Now there are several clubs as well where young people can go for clubbing and pubbing. Okay, let's talk about musical instruments. Do you like any musical instrument? Well, uh, during my childhood days, I was fond of guitar and piano. Did you learn to play that instrument when you were a child? During my school days, I used to play piano. But later on, when I grew up, I, uh, I didn't continue with my classes and I forgot how to play it. Why didn't you try to learn it later in life? Later, I got busy with my studies and then later uh, further, I got busy with my work. So I didn't get any time to learn. Is it good for children to learn an instrument? Definitely. I think uh, music plays a very uh, pivotal role in everyone's life. And if children uh, feel that they have an interest in music, so they should definitely learn a musical instrument. Do you think schools should provide music classes for children? Yes, I think it is a good uh, hobby for children as well, as it can be a good distraction from the stress that children has from their studies. So definitely there should be classes, musical classes in schools. All right, this is the end of part one. Now in part two, I will give you a two-minute topic. You will have one minute to prepare and you have to speak for one to two minutes. Clear? Okay, ma'am. Here is your cue card. This is your paper and pencil. May I start, ma'am? Yes. Uh, so here I would talk about a person who I have learned to speak my native language, which is Punjabi. Uh, during school days, uh, our school used to have an uh, uh, exchange program uh, which used to invite students from all over the world to study in our school. Hence, uh, during 8th uh, class, a student was invited from Germany uh, and she attended our school for at least 6 months. When she came in our school, she was very excited to explore our culture, tradition, language. Uh, one day she heard us speaking in a very different language as compared to hers. So she was very inquisitive about it, that what we were speaking and what we were talking about. Uh, when we told her about a language called Punjabi, so she got very curious and she was very excited to learn about it as well. Then we started talking to her in Punjabi and we taught her how to speak, the accent, the proper words. Uh, she found it very funny, but then she started picking up our words, our lines and what we used to speak. Uh, uh, later on, she got adapted to it and she started speaking really well. Even we got to learn a bit of German from her, uh, but she basically enjoyed learning Punjabi and uh, that is, and it was a good experience for her and she really enjoyed speaking it as well. And her uh, even uh, later on, her accent was also improved. Can I have paper pencil back? Yes, ma'am. In this part three, I will ask you a few questions related to this topic. Do you think children can learn a language faster than adults? Uh, I think if they are guided really well and they have a mentor who can teach them, then yes, definitely they can. And it is easier for them to learn a new language as compared to adults. Why do adults find it harder to learn a new language? I think at a later stage of life, uh, they find it difficult because they are already used to speaking a language they, they have already learned. So to start over again and to learn a new language, it is very difficult and complicated for them. Do you think the country should protect the language of a minority of the population? Uh, of course, uh, the language should be protected as if it gets vanished, then the traditions will also get vanished and uh, the language which the minority speak should be well protect, uh, protected because only this way the language could be continued till further generations. What method can schools adopt to make learning a language easy? 
I think uh, the language can be learned very easily by different tasks, various tasks uh, like uh, to uh, when children can be uh, find it playful, uh, not only through serious learning, but also through playful learning, through various tasks, which uh, which they can also enjoy and through which they can also learn. Hence, different methods can be applied here. Are the schools in your country teaching any foreign language? Uh, yes, uh, my school used to teach Spanish language and a special uh, tutor was called uh, which who was very uh, uh, expert in this area and she used to uh, teach us language, uh, this language and she was very helpful as well and she used to be very friendly with each and every one of us. Uh, with us. Is there a connection between the country's culture and its language? Definitely. I think language and uh, culture plays a very interconnected role. Uh, I think whatever, however we speak, it represents us. So definitely it represents our culture as well. How we behave, how we speak. Speaking is definitely interconnected to the culture of uh, every person. Alright, this is the end of your speaking test. Thank you so much, ma'am.